Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. I am sharing my top seven things that you need to know when taking your baby or toddler under three years old to Disney World. So let's jump into it. The first thing that you need to know is your little one doesn't need a park ticket. If they are under three years old, then they don't need to buy a Disney World park ticket, which is absolutely amazing, as well as they don't need a park reservation. At the time I'm filming this, Disney World is requiring you to make a park reservation for the theme park that you would like to go to. And since they don't need a ticket, they don't need a reservation. So all of that makes your trip planning process a lot easier. Thing number two on the list is your little one under three years old doesn't count in your room occupancy. So say it's mom and dad and grandma and grandpa want to come along, that's four. If your room occupancy is four and you're taking little one for their very first time and under three years old, they don't count in your room occupancy. You do need to put them on the reservation, but they don't count. So this is a great way to save some money and squeeze all five people into a room that has an occupancy number of four. Thing number three that you need to know is that they do need to be counted in your dining reservation. So again, if you're going with mom and dad and grandma and grandpa and little baby, then you do need to put down a party of five. But when you go, unless you order them a kid's meal, they don't cost. So all of that character dining that you're gonna wanna do with your little one so they can be able to eat their favorite meal with their favorite character, doesn't cost you anything extra for them. You can just let them eat off of your plate and make their own plate if it's a buffet or if it's family style and they bring stuff out, they'll bring out enough for them and it doesn't cost you anything extra. Thing that you need to know, number four, is they don't need Genie Plus. So like I talked about earlier, they don't need a park ticket they don't need Genie Plus. So if you and your spouse have a lightning lane booked, you don't have to worry about them. The little one can come right along with you and they don't need a reservation. You can pop in the line and it's no big deal. Take them with you because they don't need a park ticket. They don't need a reservation. They don't need Genie Plus. So makes it a lot easier. Thing that you need to know, number five, if you are flying to Disney World and coming into the MCO Orlando International Airport and you're using either the Sunshine Flyer or you're using Mirrors Connect, things like that, any bus transportation, if your little one again is under three years old, they don't cost on that either. Now they would just need to sit in your lap, but they do not cost to have a seat. Thing number six that you need to know when going to Disney World with a little one under three is use the baby care centers. Now I know a lot of people talk about this, but seriously, it is like a, having a nursery for your baby in Disney World. Now obviously they don't have cribs in there so you can go and like put your baby and take a nap and go ride rides. Like that's not a thing. But when it comes to needing to go and change their diaper, they have the largest changing pads in all of the parks right there in the baby care centers. There are people cleaning them between each little one. They have like nice paper liners so it's nice and clean and sanitary. So if you have an older toddler that's still in diapers, this is a great place. These changing pads, I'm serious. These are so big. I could probably lay down on them and I'm 5'3". But they are are huge and amazing and such a great perk. Another thing that they have there are bottle warmers. So if you're taking say breast milk into the parks or you need to warm up your formula bottle or whatever it is you're doing to bottle feed your baby, then you can go in and they have a warmer that you can heat that stuff up in. You can get water there. And so if you're needing to make a formula bottle and you didn't bring water, you can get hot water there. And so it works perfectly. They have a sink if you're needing to wash things out. It is so incredibly helpful. They also have microwaves. So if you're needing to heat up some lunch or something that you brought in, if it's an outside food, you brought in for your baby, you got a picky eater, whatever, you can bring that in and microwave that. They have high chairs for you to sit out. They have tables for little ones to sit at. They've got a TV so they can watch TV. They have restrooms for you. And they also have a private nursing or pumping room. So if you're taking a baby and you need to nurse or pump, then you can go in and do that. And some of those are actually private rooms where it's just you. And then some of them are just nursing pumping rooms where all the mamas are in together, but it is a private room with closed doors. So dads are not allowed in there. So it has to be just them and so it gives a little bit more privacy and so you don't have to worry about somebody walking in while you're hooking up your pump or whatever, um, then you can totally do that there too. And then they also have things for sale there. They have a little like mini baby section store. So if you need medication, more diapers, swim diapers, wipes, um, food for your baby, they have formulas there, they have pacifiers, batteries for things, like whatever you need for your baby, they have it sunscreen, all the things. And just so everybody knows, cause I do get this question on occasion is you do not need a reservation to 
use the baby care centers and it doesn't cost you any extra when you buy your theme park ticket the baby care center and being able to go in and use that all is covered and it's so worth it these things are never busy at least when we've been in there there's like nobody in there and so definitely worth checking out and taking advantage of because they are amazing and thing to note number seven on the list is that Disney actually has pack and plays and mini cribs available for you to use now you do need to put in a request for these in some cases and so about a week before your check-in date you can call and request that and add that to your reservation they'll just name your reservation number but you can call the line directly associated with your Disney Resort and be able to talk to someone there at the front desk and add that request more times than not you will probably end up with a pack and play but you can request a crib but those are fewer they don't have quite as many of those so if you have like a younger baby and you really want a crib I would call as soon as you can when they start accepting requests and get that in early to give you a little bit higher probability of getting that request made but just be aware it could be a pack and play but either way it's one less thing that you have to travel with or even have rented and brought in don't feel like you have to rent a pack and play and have it brought in from a separate company Disney has those and so you're good to go and a little bonus tip here is that if you are going to be flying or considering flying to Disney World and your little one is under two years old they've not had their second birthday yet then they are what's considered a lap child or can be considered a lap child and so if they are under two years old you can have them sit on your lap and save that extra ticket money which saves more money for your Disney trip so to round it out basically taking your little one under three to Disney World is free almost like other than any souvenirs and things that you would need to take with them or snacks that you might buy them they're basically free like they can eat off your plate they don't take up any room in the hotel room you don't have to take a pack and play for them if they're under two you don't have to worry about their flight if you do fly you don't have to worry about their bus transportation so it's almost like taking them for free other than obviously your stuff so if you're like my husband and i are and were and love going to disney before you had a baby then just know it doesn't really cost you a whole lot of extra so if you want to go ahead and do that trip do it book it it's amazing but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please hit the thumbs up button down below it helps to support the channel and i'm all the time sharing tips tricks and hacks to taking a baby or toddler to disney world so if you're into that sort of content then go ahead and hit the red subscribe button down below and i will see you guys right back here for a brand new video thanks again for watching bye guys